and welcome back. This week's Protecting Our Elections segment. After all um, of the concerns about the 2020 vote, uh, the GOP has launched a new election integrity committee. Uh, they are hoping to make a host of changes to shore up America's vote. Uh, much of that will happen at the state level. For example, Montana's Secretary of State, Christy Jacobson, ran on this very issue, and she joins us live this morning to talk a little bit more about it. It's so great to have you with us. Such an important topic to so many people across this country. Thank you so much for having me. I absolutely agree. It yeah. is on everybody's minds, and we have to be ready in 2022 to mm -hmm. have a phenomenal election. In 2020 in Montana, we had record turnout, and we had a red wave. We had Republicans elected in every statewide race and in the majority, both in the House and the Senate. And we reelected our Congressman Steve Daines. Mm -hmm. We had a very successful turnout and uh, election in 2020, but we definitely have some room for improvement, and that's what my focus will be during this legislative session. Right. Well, you, you have a number of changes, uh, but let's start broad. Uh, we're going to uh, see all of these changes happen at the state level, as we mentioned, and Republicans control more than half of the state legislatures, in case people don't know that. Uh, what role can the states play in this, just the broad picture? So as Secretary of State, I have requested five bills and had Republican sponsors, the first starting with voter identification. That was something that I campaigned on, and that's what Montanans voted me in for, was to make sure that we have voter identification. So we have that legislation launched and phenomenal support around voter identification. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I know that's what some of the issues were in, in the last election. It was brought to light that there had been changes made and some of the state legislatures weren't involved in those changes. And, and that was a cause of concern in several states. Yeah, voter identification is something that is on the forefront of everybody's mind. And when you look at best practices across the country, that is one of the number one best practices we can do uh, throughout the country is to make sure that we have voter ID at the polls and when a voter registers to vote. Mm -hmm. uh, and voter ID doesn't mean voter suppression because so often we hear that argument. Uh, explain to people why it, it doesn't mean that. Absolutely. In, in Montana, when we have 82% record turnout, we even had a county that had 92% turnout, there is no voter suppression. We make it very easy for people to vote. You need to have ID to get on a plane. You need to have ID to fish or hunt or have a, a hunting license in Montana. And it absolutely makes sense that you have identification when you vote. Yeah. So, so speaking of that pushback, how is the fight uh, going for you in, in Montana? Are you getting a lot of pushback there? We have the same groups that uh, continually oppose voter integrity initiatives, and that's something that's not new in Montana. But we have with the Republicans, both in the House and the Senate and the statewide offices, we have a lot of momentum to get these legislative initiatives passed around voter integrity and a lot of support. But most importantly, the people of Montana and the people of the country want to see voter integrity and they want to make sure that our elections are, are safe and they're secure mm -hmm. and they have uh, fair practices. Right. And, and that goes for whether you are a Republican or a Democrat or an independent. You want to make sure that your vote counts in the way you intended it. Uh, what do you make of the GOP's Election Integrity Committee that I think they, they announced just last week? Uh, what kind of support do you want from them or do you need from them? The GOP and the Election Integrity, this is a unifying concept across the country and in all the states and, and like you said, on both sides of the aisle, Americans and Montanans want election integrity. And, and that's a concept that's unifying both for the party and Americans and Montanans. 
Yeah, and I think people will be encouraged to hear something still being said about it uh, that, you know, people haven't forgotten about it and they're going to continue to pursue it for everyone. Uh, Montana Secretary of State Christy Jacobson, we really appreciate your time uh, on this weekend. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let us know uh, how things turn out. Well, straight ahead, the rise of the nuns. Why are so many young people moving away from religion and how can we get them back to faith. You're watching America right now.